I've been waiting nine weeks, nine plus weeks for this little item that finally showed up today. It is my roof rack. Look how big it is. To show you scale, I'm six foot three. It's a big box, it's bigger than the Jeep. So I don't know, I don't know what the heck's inside that thing. Supposedly it's supposed to be custom. It's supposed to be this custom kind of media edition where they've reconfigured the front end so one of those big light bars can go up top and I can hang my awning off the side and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna open this bad boy up and see what's inside it. It is a very big, big package. Well, there it is, in a nutshell. Now I just gotta put it all together. All right, so I got to this point here now after, after unloading everything. As you can see, it's the rack is standing straight up in the air, and the idea is that it's got a pivot on the back that I just attached the rack to, right? And then this pivots up and attaches here to the front of the Jeep. Right now I've got the front on with the light bar, and I just attached this part, which I've got it strategically balanced on these two trash cans here. So when you're working by yourself, you gotta get creative. So I've got some old sawhorses over there that I used, some uh, rope, <laughs> some um, trash cans, and also a bunch of the, you know, I have a bunch of those packing blankets, those thick like padded uh, moving blankets. So I had those laid on the front. There's one still up on the top in case I drop this on the way down. 
but it's pretty cool so far. Um, let me try and zoom in here a little bit for you, if I can. If you look down, you can see right here where it's attached. It goes underneath to the frame. So it's got a piece here that stay that it's here's the pivot point and it attaches on the body as it pinches but it all it goes down to the frame as the main support and then this pivots up and holds in place. I'll show you the whole thing as a, a walk around when I'm done um, with that. There we go. I'll show you the whole thing. Well, right now what I have to do is get set up to where I can walk this thing down slowly without slamming on top of the Jeep. And then, well, if that's all goes good, I'll tighten everything up and start working on accessories. All right, so I got everything finished that I want to finish now on the roof rack and I've actually taken it out into the desert and done some, some testing to make sure that nothing's going to fall off. If you guys please forgive the noise pollution that you're going to hear in the background. My, I've got a couple sets of neighbors that think it's okay to do construction 365 days out of the year. I haven't had a break in like two years from banging and construction sounds. So it's going on again today, so I apologize for that. But quickly, just want to show you guys what, what this thing looks like. So on the back, this particular unit came with these ladders, which are normally a, an accessory, but it came with two for free, quote, with this package. And then here's the awning. I'm gonna set this thing up here in a second for you guys. And then if we look at the front here, so we got the, this one came with a custom area to mount the light bar and the light bar. So I think it worked out pretty good. I didn't know if I was going to buy one of these light bars right away because they're kind of expensive but it is nice to have though when you're out you know off-roading at night or trying to get somewhere at night and you're not going to use those on the street those are only going to be off-road but they light up you i don't know if you can tell on the camera but the center segment and the outside segments are different so we got spotlights and floods so basically shoots beams way out there and then it covers a wide area inside but that's uh that's the rack there in a nutshell i think it looks pretty good and then what I'm gonna do now is run into the tire. I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna uh, put this awning up real quick. Pretty easy to set up with one person. Um, if you can see, it goes from basically directly out from the driver's door, straight out, wraps all the way around, and gives you a whole lot of space underneath there. The only problem I've had with it is this last piece over here, there's an extension piece and you're supposed to be able to twist it and it locks and untwist it. Well, it won't lock, it's just spinning in place. So I put a little masking tape around it for right now until I can either get in contact with the guys in South Africa where I got this <laughs> or fix it myself find out a better maybe a better method to doing that but it's really easy to set up as you can see I like it you can also tie it down it comes with some um, it has holes right here that you can tie art right, right here it's got like a little loop that you can guy out the uh, with some tie downs and stuff, be pretty cool. I like it, I think it's pretty cool.